They say if you don't learn something new every day, that day is wasted. And yesterday was a day that I learned something new about Family Search. So here we are at Family Search, and I'm on the Family Search Research Wiki. This is an excellent part of Family Search. And if you're not familiar with Family Search, Family Search has been, I can't even tell you how many years, has been going around the globe, searching out records, taking um, digital copies of records from churches and courthouses and all sorts of places that you can find genealogically relevant documents. And they have this on their site, Family Search. So the wiki is really great if you're not uh, understanding uh, about a location or a subject, you can learn more there. But what I'm going to show you is something uh, that I've never seen before. So uh, if you're familiar with Family Search, then you know that it has a tree. And that tree is a one tree, which means that it's a tree where everyone is on the same tree. And so sometimes that can be a issue because if you have disagreements with somebody about the information, then you have to solve it. And in fact, that's why I, I have my information on the one tree. But when somebody went in and changed my great grandfather's parents to something that it's through no fault of their own, they're looking at the records. The records would say that that would be his parents, but those are in fact not his parents. Those are his, uh, the parents or people that raised him. So not necessarily his biological parents. So, uh, once I get some proof, maybe I'll go back and see if I can dispute whose parents are, but for now I'm going to leave it as it is. But one thing I'd never seen before or never noticed before is this um, genealogies, and I wasn't aware. So let's have a look. So it takes you to this page and it says genealogies. Family Search Genealogies is a large directory of family trees as no also known as lineage or pedigrees, that people and organizations have shared with Family Search. We organize the information into collections and make it available to you. So this might be something that you want to explore further. So if we go down here, it tells you some of the places where it got the information. So they got it from community trees, they got it from oral genealogies, they got it com from computer generated trees, uh, Guild of One Name Studies, MyTree.com, Roots Finder, American Ancestors, Pedigree Resource Files, Ancestral Files, the IGI, Lineage of the Middle East and Islamic World, Storied. So there's Storied.com. So they're getting information from a lot of places. So let's go up and see what we can find. So I've put William Middlebrough and Yorkshire, England is the place. He was born in 1840. He is my great, great, great grandfather. So three times great grandfather. Uh, so we just press search and it takes us to what it finds. So in fact, you'll see that at the very top, there is a William Middlebrough and he was baptized in 1841 and he was buried in 1896. His spouse is Teresa Roberts and his child is John Henry Middlebrough. So in fact, that is my ancestor and John Henry Middlebrough is my great grandfather's uh, uh, father. And so this is actually my family. So we can look at it further and see if it gives us any hints. And I'm not saying that you accept any of this information as gospel, but sometimes by looking at other people's tree, you get ideas and information that you might not have known about. So we click that and it takes us to this. Now this is a small tree and I'm thinking that these are blank because 
Uh, either there's no information there or it's privatized. But uh, uh, already I can see that there's a mistake. It mentions Emily Louisa Johnson. And in fact, her name was, his second wife's name was Emily Louisa Wilson. And it was my, uh, his first wife that I'm related through. And that was Annie Johnson. So this isn't, you know, correct, but you know, you never know. It's, it's kind of one of those lucky dip situations. You take a chance, see what you find. So here you can sh see, you can show more details and it shows who submitted this and that it's an ancestry file. So I actually can uh, take that URL and look at that tree if it's open. And it says that it has 133,400 people in that submission. So kind of interesting. So let's explore more. So I've gone into the side panel here and changed the name. So I decided I would try my great grandmother, Ellen Anado. She was born in actually Liverpool, I think, uh, but I just left it pretty open. And then I put the year that she was born. So then I click search. And again, we see that somebody has a tree with her. Uh, I can tell that because her father was Richard Henry Anado. And uh, it says it's, uh, then there's, it says about Henrietta Ann Murphy. I'm not sure what that's about. There is a Murphy in the tree, but I'm not sure. And it talks about her spouse, Francis Johnson Middlebrook. So we can click on it and see what it tells us. So it takes us to this tree and it's, uh, as far as, as I'm concerned, it's fairly accurate. It's giving Ellen here and the marriage in 1905 to Francis Johnson Middlebrook, who is my great grandfather. And then you can see on the very left hand side, Francis Richard Middlebrook. Uh, that is my grandfather and my grandmother is Mary Loretta Beaton. Um, and you can see he has uh, my grandfather's siblings. And on the left, on the right hand side, there is the parents of Richard Henry Anado and the parents of Henrietta Ann Murphy. And below you can see that John Henry Middlebrough that we were just looking at and, and his father and Teresa Roberts and it goes out further so you can click on these arrows and it'll take you out further so it says that this is the walroth family tree april 2024 and it, if you click on it it tells you who submitted it uh, nick wall three and he has 1230 people in his uh, tree it says uh, work in progress with some assumption for Albert Morris Wall. So, like I say, it, it's um, not necessarily the gospel, but it might, you might gain some uh, little gem that helps you further your genealogy. So, I hope you'll go over to Family Search and check out that genealogies part of the search. Thanks and have a great day.